G'day folks, uh, welcome to a Tuesday afternoon at Ed Systems. Um, just a little bit of an update for the week. Uh, well for starters actually I'd like to thank Gavin Curtis for donating this neat little ESR meter. It's going to be a major help with some of my electronics repairs and things. I was looking at some cheaper ones recently and then he came out and said he's got this UK made one, a good quality one that he's willing to donate. I think he just bought a whole bunch of them for his workshop and use co-workers to use so big thanks to you for that one mate I wish to meet you in person one day and shake your hand because this is going to be a big lifesaver um, I'll post a link to your channel in the description and for those interested he does all sorts of electronics repairs from TVs, plasma TVs, his Yamaha what looks like a keyboard, electronic keyboard console plasma TV um, Blue LED spectrum analyzers, um, construction project, um, yeah, Sherwood amplifier, that sort of stuff. Yeah, I quite like a lot of his videos, so, and also a long-time subscriber of mine. So go check him out, subscribe, rate, comment, whatever. <laughs> so yeah, I went and got this thing on my lunch break and even tried it out at work. I tested a few caps that I had down the back in the repair area. Uh, like new ones come up perfect went through the EDM and found a few dodgy ones uh, yeah so I've got to read the manual a bit more and just work out what each part means and the correlation between voltage value and resistance the ESR determines or measures resistance and it's a pretty neat little unit it's quite it's automatic auto detect we turn him on See, now it's just waiting for me to connect something, but... Yeah. Various features. So now it's saying open circuit on self-test. Yeah. Neat little unit. Yeah. ESR, equivalent series resistance. And this will also measure in circuit as well. It's quite interesting and very handy. I recommend anyone who fixes plasma TVs or any electronics that use capacitors should really get one now. Uh, there are cheaper models like the ones I was looking at which were still $150 or so. I hate to think what these are worth but yeah that's why I'm so grateful for it because I was, I was about to go and spend $150 or so on a, on a reasonable but still China made generic ESR meter and yeah Thank you very much, my friend. I'll buy you a beer one day. <laughs> so I've got that one in today. Um, also, just checking up on things. Brad's still been pretty busy at the moment, so he hasn't got down here yet. The Ford, I'm going to do all the brakes and everything on. Um, I found an interesting computer for me. It's made by, um, he was just talking about it before, it was made by Digital Electronics Corporation, and it was a uh, Deckmate 2, I think it was. DEC Corporation or Digital, whatever it was. And, uh, I'm just looking at some of Photonic's recent uploads. Uh, Photon Vids. A lot of you probably would have heard of it by now if you haven't. He's putting a lot of his uh, older style ones back up as far as I can tell. Haven't watched it with sound yet. This computer's not plugged into the amp, but yeah. A couple of people sort of pointed it to me and yeah, I thought I'd just check it out. Um, what was I doing? No, it doesn't matter. Yeah, some antique computer that I'm going to have a look at. There's no monitor or keyboard with it, so we'll see how well I go with getting it going. Apart from that, just busy with work, and I'll try and get... Sorry. I uh, shouldn't have drunk too much before I uh, did this video. I'm just drinking coke at the moment but god it gives you the burps <laughs> doesn't look good on film but screw it I'm not editing this video I never do all one shot wonders um, yeah what was I going to say I still got to pull the engine out of that Yanmar tractor I've started I've got the exhaust stack off and I've um, rem we've removed the bucket assembly from over the top of it that was a pain in the ass to get off we spent the rest of Saturday afternoon doing that so I didn't get to start unbolting anything 
start we managed to get it off with the forklift and put it aside so now I've got a clear access to get to the engine and everything else I'm just going to strip out anything that might be useful uh, Yanmar tractor bits are worth a bit of money so I'm going to strip whatever I can I probably won't I won't get into the gearbox or the drive unit for the um, all-wheel drive system but I'm assuming that some of that's probably damaged anyway or worn out because of what happened to it but either way we'll look at a bit more of that uh, this Friday Saturday sort of time with a bit of luck I'll even get it home this weekend if not maybe I'll just stick it up, wrap it wrap it up stick it on a pallet and store it until the weekend after when I've got everything else sorted out anywho I think that's all the major stuff um, yeah not a lot else happening although uh, good good news on the Queensland state elections because Labor got absolutely annihilated I mean smashed they only have seven seats now whereas Liberal whatever it was party has 70 something that's an absolute annihilation of Labor in the Queensland election they got absolutely butt raped <laughs> and let's hope the rest of these state elections are like that too because it might send a message to Gillard in Canberra because she's going to get equally butt raped by the voters as well and I mean it's, it's going to get nasty she's ruining this country doing horrible damage with her taxes and things and yeah she ain't going to get away with it no way I don't care if we see the whole Labor Party burnt and buried it's it's over it's gone especially because they were collaborating with the Greens. The amount of collaboration they've done with the Green Party, which is easily the most dangerous party in Australia right now, it's just not on. Not at all. Not in a free country like this where we're supposed to be living properly. Not with the Greens thinking we're, we live to, to such too high of a standard and we need to knock us down a bit. No way. We should live at a nice high standard. We don't want the Greens thinking that. We don't want the Greens thinking they're bloody their bloody hands into our pockets full of money. No, not on. Not with the LPG prices the way they are, making it cost more than petrol. Not with the carbon tax. Not with the mining tax. And then sending our coal overseas to China and India or whatever they're planning at the moment. Nah, screw them. Time to take back this country. Through the elections or through whatever other means necessary if the elections fail. If she does everything she can and she is arrogant enough to probably try something to try and keep her position even through a failed election do what's necessary people this is Australia it's about time this country shows some backbone thanks for watching